In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a tool which is gonna help you grow your audience. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome to the Funnels to Income show. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a tool which is fantastic in growing your audience. So as you know, I normally talk about email, growing your email list, but there's also another way that you can use alongside building your mailing list and this is push notifications. So let me just show you quickly what my uh, panel looks like. So over here, you can see I'm slowly building up my uh, list to about Right now, I'm currently on 1,374, and this is going up, by the way. And over here, you can see it's just today, I've just had four subscribers, and of course, some people do unsubscribe. So if you don't know what push notifications are, these are notifications that come on a website to allow you to receive browser notifications. So let's say you've released a new post, they will get a browser notification. So rather than getting an email, they get a browser notification. So there may be a group of people out there that may prefer not to do to share their email. So this is another way that they could use to get notifications from your blog or when you post content on your website. So push notifications are really, really powerful. When I started off, to be honest with uh, push notifications, I said to myself, who's gonna want to sign up onto these push notifications? But as you can see, it's slowly growing. And uh, every time I publish a post, I send out a notification. And I'm sure some of you that are signed up to my push notifications also do see these push notifications. So there are quite a few companies out there that offer this service, but the one I use is called Push Monkey. I mean, it's really good uh, to be honest, and it's very, very straightforward to use. In fact, the way, the best way to use this right now I'm logged into the actual dashboard on their website but this also comes with a WordPress plugin so you can install the plugin on your website and control it that way so if you want to send out anything you just add your title your description and then the link to uh, whatever it is that you want to send them to so this is not only used for blog posts you can also use this for promotions, 50% discounts, Black Friday sales, Valentine's sale, whatever it is. So it is quite good in the sense that you can use it pretty much on anything. But this, as I mentioned earlier on, it applies to your actual website. So how I use it is when I create a post, I also send a notification to these people, 1,374. Now, of course, not every single one of them is going to open it. There's always a percentage that open it. And if we take a look here, you can see that every time I push something out, about 87 people click it. So, you know, it is a fair amount out of this, but the click rate is going to depend on your title. So if your title is exciting and people want to click it, that's what's going to make it, you know, enticing for people to click. So this is why these variations of, uh, you know, how many people are going to click. So you can see here on the 30th, only 38 clicked. Now you may see this going down really. This is because on the 31st of March, I did not send anything out. So this is actually showing based on when I've been sending my, my uh, notifications out. So when it's down to zero here, it means that no one is clicking because I haven't sent anything out. Right now over here, I also want to show you some very interesting stats because uh, this is also quite good to see, you know, where people are coming from. So as you can see here, Google Chrome is the most popular one and followed by Safari and then Mozilla Firefox. So this is also really good. Now over here, I can tell straight away which countries people are clicking from. So here I can see that United States is 1,055. Uh, followed by United Kingdom, Canada, and then India, Australia, and so on. So when it comes to, let's say, creating your ads, it, when it's when you're at the stage where you're creating your, uh, your ads, you can actually see here where you want to be sending your ads to. So for example, here you can decide, you know what, most of my viewers are from the States, so you may craft an ad which targets people from the United States. Or if you want to get more people from, let's say, Spain or South Africa, this is where you can look at this and say, right, you know what, I, only, I need more subscribers from Spain and South Africa. So you run your ads to those countries just to bring the numbers up. And over here, we have this beautiful map. We can zoom in and pretty much you can see where all your subscribers are. Now, back over here on, on uh, send push notifications. In fact, I have to log back in. I don't know why this has just done that. So here, this is uh, basically the view you see uh, when you sign into your website. So you add your title here. So normally I just say new video tutorial and then I add a brief description here of what the tutorial is about. And then this is the landing URL. So this is where I send them to. And then here, 
on the action button, I just say, okay. Usually I don't um, add an icon here, so I just leave that as it is. And sometimes I may add a thumbnail, but to be honest, I just leave it as it is. Now, this is the uh, main pop-up notification that comes up. So here you can add a little image or you can add your logo. And um, yeah, basically that's what you need to do. And this is your preview. So when first someone first lands on your website, they will get a pop-up to say, would you like to receive messages from me? And then they can either decline or say, okay. If they say, okay, then they're added onto the notifications list. Now here, as you can see, this is the first time that you see it. And then after this, pretty much it's okay. So moving on here, you can also do drip notifications. To be honest, I haven't really used drip notifications, but you can send some notifications that you can send throughout a sort of time scale, similar to what you can do with emails where you can uh, send emails out um, based on a specific time scale. So maybe one every other day and so on. But like I said, I haven't really used this. I only use it when I send my when I notifications out as soon as I create a post. So here you also have sch uh, schedules. You can you know, schedule all your posts here and you also have a report. So here you can see clearly how my notifications have been viewed. So as you can see here, uh, new DV 4.0 tutorial, subscribers 1,344, 59 clicks. Now, this one here got 68 and the title was I was banned. So I guess people wanted to know why I was banned. So this is why this number went really up. And to be honest, this is the highest so far. And also here, lifetime deal. You can see 58 people clicked here on the lifetime deal, which is cool. Now I'm just going, I'm just scrolling down here to see if there was a higher, a higher number here of click throughs. So that can also give me an idea of why they might have clicked on there. So you can see here, new DV feature, this one has 65. So this is where you can get to, uh, to see how people are interested, uh, what sort of um, topics your people are interested in or your subscribers rather. And then here, design websites in 2020, this had 62. So this one here is quite popular as well. So as you can see here, they are topics or specific headlines that make people open your, uh, your notifications. So this is where you can play around with this and see what is working and maybe you can make more of those type of headlines. So this is actually great to see what is happening here. Now here is where you connect your website. So you can see here I've added my uh, website and you can also add it by just clicking on this plus button and then you can add your site name, URL, agent and, and so on. Right, so moving on, you can also add RSS feeds. Now, this is something I need to do. As I mentioned, I've been just adding my um, notifications every single time and I do it manually. So by doing it, by adding an RSS feed here, everything is automated. So as soon as you produce a, as soon as you publish a post, this will automatically push them out there. So when it comes to your, your online uh, website or your online business, the ideal situation is to automate as many things as you can as possible, because this will take, uh, this will free you a lot of time to create your content. So this is actually advised to have your RSS feed set up here. Okay, so moving on uh, here, I'm not sure what this topic is about. I haven't really used this to be honest. And then here you have segments and events. So here you can go in and create your segments. But as you can see here, I do not have any segments. I just worry about uh, pushing out my content. And then finally here we have our subscribers. Now, as you can see, it doesn't show the name. It just pretty much I'm not sure how they find a way of tagging who has signed up onto the push notifications, but it just shows you basic information like, uh, for example, um, the country, the ID and the IP, which to be honest, you can't really pin this to the specific person that has signed up onto your mailing list. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because you want to have as many avenues as possible to get subscribers and to get people on a, on a list. So before I've spoken by, I've spoken about an email list and now I'm talking about these push notifications. As you can see, they actually work. So I would recommend that you use these in your websites as well. I'll leave a link to PushMonkey in the video description below so you can check it out. And uh, as I mentioned, I highly, highly recommend this because any way that we can get people to sign up onto some sort of lists so that they get reminded when we post our content is very, very important and it helps with our marketing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.